In this video, we are going to discuss about default routing. So, what is a default routing here? Default routing can be considered as a special type of a static routing. So, it is a special kind of a static routing and the difference between normal static route and the default route is that the default route is used to send packets that any unknown destination and also single next hop address. So, it will send the packets destined to any unknown destination as well as it will send to a single next hop address. So, a single point exists or not. So, default routes are useful when dealing with a network with a single exit point and also it is useful when a bulk of destinations are available and they have to be routed to single next hop device. So, it is used only for single exit point and also when number of destinations are available, it will be routing or sending the packets to single next hop device here. So, coming to the another point to remember is when more specific route is available and also a uh, default route is available. So, the specific route is captured because that is more specific and also is very known for the routing to perform and also you can see that the routing table also performs that route when compared to default route because that route is more specific in routing information. And the command to add default route is same as the static and also you see that the network address and mask set to 0.0.0, .0 as shown below. You see the syntax very clearly IP route 0.0.0, .0 and again the mask is 0.0.0, .0 and given the next hop details. So, we will see in detail here that you take an example that the exit point for the network is 198.168.1.0/24 and 192.168.5.0-24 network is towards router 2 that means these networks are towards router 2 and the exit interfaces are mentioned here. So, how you configure the default route for the router 1 in global configuration mode no IP route for 10.1.2.0 with the wildcard mask and the exit interface is 10.1.1.2 the same way will go with the router 2 for other interface. So, router 3 also configured for the same with the exit interface for the two interfaces. So, here you can see the default route is more similar to static route and also remember router 2 has multiple exit. So, you cannot configure default route here you have to go for a static route. So, these are the information about the default and static route. So, multiple exit multiple exits cannot be used with the default route, we have to go with the static route. In the next video, we will be discussing about the dynamic routing.